Are you ready to show yourself some real love? My name is Nandini and this is a four-step process on how to make yourself feel loved in the most practical way. This can also help you attract the kind of love you want to receive. Now let's start. Step one, take an area of your life or your personal possessions that makes you feel like it needs a little TLC, total loving care. To make it simple, think of something that bothers you a little bit. For example, maybe you don't really like the way your shoes are, you know, spread around in an area of your house. Or maybe you don't have the correct storage for your jewelry. Maybe when you come home and you take your bags off your shoulders and your arms, they don't really have a place to go, so they're kind of left there like a mess. You can also think about an area of your house you don't really feel like spending a lot of time in or you don't like cleaning, whether it's your kitchen or your bathroom, something like that. It could even be your email inbox. Think of something that sort of brings a frown to your face in your daily life and in your own space. Step two, now you decide how you would like to organize that instead or how could you make that joyful for you instead of something you avoid if it's like, you know, cleaning a certain part of your bathroom or kitchen. The reason why this is so important is because a person who is in love with their life obviously finds joy in every aspect of it. Or at least that should be our aim. This is where you sit down and you visualize how can you make your life joyful especially around these things that are a little inconvenient or mm, just something that don't make you feel comfortable. And if you just take a moment to visualize, you'll find that often the solutions are actually within reach. If you really need some inspiration, if you're struggling to find out how can I make this better and you need some inspiration, you obviously have the internet. So this is where we get to step three. Find out how to make these solutions that we've thought about possible. Find out what you need to change, shift, make or acquire to make that solution happen, to make it real. And step four is action. Don't just leave it at a thought. Don't just leave it at a plan. Take action to make it happen. If you have to save up money to buy something like a shoe organizer, go ahead and set that as a financial goal. And all of these steps, especially this last one, must be done with love instead of something tough that you just have to do, right? Even if you're saving up for this, think about, oh, I'm going to feel so much better when I have a place to organize my jewelry or my shoes or if I'm able to buy that appliance that will make, you know, cleaning the kitchen, kitchen, not appliance, probably a little tool, maybe a you know, a pair of gloves or something that will just make that easier and more joyful for me. I'm doing this because I love myself. I'm doing it because I want my life to be filled with enjoyment and joy. Reframing these things to tell yourself that you're doing these things because you love yourself, that is the key to living life filled to the brim with love. And remember, not everything has to be bought. That's not even good for the environment. So use your creativity, your imagination, your problem-solving mind. Oftentimes we find that we're able to think much more creatively to solve these little small things if only we give them some loving attention and time. For example, an overloaded email inbox just need some time. All you have to do is take some time out and lovingly look at those emails and unsubscribe from the ones you don't want. Delete the ones that are like super, super old. Just take some time to reorganize. Similarly, if you don't like putting your bags on the floor, think about what sort of surface in your home can you repurpose, right? If you could just move a few things around, maybe there could be a shelf or a surface where you can deposit those bags and feel so much better about how neat your home is looking. That's the end of this four-step process. Tell me in the comments what you're going to be focusing on and how you're going to change that thing in your life with love for yourself. Just remember one thing. We may dream or daydream about love, 
but taking action to truly make ourselves feel that love from within is the surest way to make it happen in real life. Because what we do for ourselves is very real too. So it's time to step out of those daydreams. Yes, me, I'm saying it's, <laughs> it's time to stop daydreaming and take consistent action with immense loving kindness for ourselves. Remember, action is the highest form of prayer. And with that, I'll sign off. My name is Nandini, and I would love it if you could subscribe as I'm going to be posting a lot more on self-love. Take care, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.